Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm excited! Would you like to start the game in the chosen language? Yes. <gasps> Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Daddy, sorry. Uh, <laughs> My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. <laughs> Grandpa, sorry, Gr Grandpa. <laughs> What do I do? Oh, what do I do? <laughs> there we go. I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Choose your photo from the lineup. Ooh, listen, I wanna be like, oh, oh God, no, not that. I'd rather pass away than play as the white male protagonist. Okay, listen, I feel like I should play as like, True Dawn, but like, I mean, we're being honest, she's, I feel like she's closer to what we're working with. I mean, listen, I'll just choose the pasty ass option. What's your name? Aelin. It's been a long time since I played through a game and actually called myself by my full name. You can't see it, I'm blocking it. <clears throat> your name is Kaylin? Kia. Yeah, it is. A fine name, that is. No, it's stupid. It's okay. I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Okay, I'll tell you. Clint. Can we call him Clinterus? Why was Clint an option? Is that his, like, name? Clint. Oh. Clinterus. Clinterus, is it? That's your friend's name? Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, Kaylin, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. The thing I'm gonna discover about myself is that I, in fact, am a lesbian when I see Cynthia. You caught me! Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report. Search for the red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Okay, this just looks wrong with her as a blonde. Look how cute! You shut your mouth right now! Look at this! Get in your little bed. Oh, sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> okay, good morning. Pokemon basic. Don't talk, don't talk. I don't want to know. The little legs. The TV oh, is turned Papa. off. <gasps> Mel! Kaylin, Clinteris came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Anyways, back to this program. Aw, cute. Oh yes, Kaylin, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Like, how long have I lived here? Is that, a, is that a bowl of cookies? This is where Mom does all her delicious cooking. Mom's favorite dessert is in the refrigerator. What is it? Let me run. Let me run through the fields in the night. Hey, Timmy, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, my mother did kind of roast me. Technology just blows me away! I mean, now you can play with people around the world, wirelessly! 
Did you hear? The Pokemon professor returned to the next town over. They said he was gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Listen, listen, Kaylin! I want cute Pokemon! Okay, cool. It's true that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes. However, Pokemon also let you become friends with them. Okay. Hey, bro. You're off to hang with Clinteris again, right? You two, you two sure are tight. <laughs> yeah. God. Oh, bumped right into Clinteris. What was that about? Oh, hey, Kaylin. I'm gonna go to the lake. You should come too, and I'd be quick about it. Okay, Clinteris. I'll come quick and be, and I'll be right there. Don't worry. Okay, Kaylin. I'm finding you one million Poke Yen if you're late. Uh-oh. Oh, hi, Kaylin. Did you come calling on Clinteris? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. I'd better take my bag and guidebook, too. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, Kaylin. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million poke in. Fine if you're late. Okay. Listen, we love our neurodivergent king, Clinteris. Yeah, the, the inflation on the fine. Please, capitalism is a disease. Hiya, Kaylin. Looking for Clinteris? He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not go chase after him? Well, I'm not allowed to go in the grass. <clears throat> hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake? That show got me to thinking. I'll bet our local lake has Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, we'll go find a Pokemon like that. <laughs> no. Why am I shaking my head so slowly? What am I, wait. Oh, I'm just standing here. <laughs> okay. We're waiting on, I can't go that. Remember what your mother said? Kaylin, don't go in the tall grass, ass, ass, ass. I just wanted to do that. <laughs> okay. Verity Lakefront. All right, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. What's going on? Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Hey, TJ Spinda, I'm good. How are you? Fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Lucas, we're leaving. Why are you so mad? Jesus. Yes, sir, you've been gone for four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. Listen, I'm, I'm streaming on a wing and a prayer. Excuse me. Let us pass, please. Sorry, folks. Yeah, you should say sorry. It does sound sinister. What was that about? These, those two. It's fine. Huh? Kaylin, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem. No problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Clinteris, it's a briefcase? Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say professor. Oh, garb. Hey, David. What? Getting attacked, you eject. Look, those are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want then? 
let me make a careful decision. Hold on. I'd rather pass it. <laughs> no, not that one. Monkey, 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 monkey. Yeah. <gasps> it's monkey time. <laughs> you telling me to rob this man? I mean, I will. Did chat decide on Clintorus? Um, yeah. That was chat's fault. <laughs> Chinchar, you scratch. Like, I couldn't have done that. Rebecca, what the what happens when Chimchar farts? <laughs> Listen, you, you got a point. <laughs> you, this is a legitimate concern. Flame, throw it back. It's like a jet <laughs> Literally like a little rocket booster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is what he's just constantly like a singular toot stream. Always. Fly, your chimchar totally rock. But my Piplup was way tougher than yours. They were other, they were other people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Hogu Ginger, is that the new every time a bell rings an angel gets its wings? Just every time a Chimchar farts, it roasts a marshmallow for its trainer. And then somewhere Tiny Tim is like, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yep. Oh, you found the briefcase? The professor would have gone through the roof if he knew I forgot it here. Huh? What? Did you guys... Did you use these Pokemon? Oh man, how am I going to explain this to the professor? This is the professor's briefcase, so I'll take it, okay? <gasps> About to get this man fired. What was that about? I don't know what's going on. Kaylin, let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Your Pokemon? Your Pokemon? You have to watch Pingu get beat up constantly. Listen, beat up out of respect. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Um, hey. <laughs> hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? That's so rude. He's within earshot. <clears throat> I heard from Lucas that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Chimchar and Piplup. Hmm, I see. He's like, huh, those suck anyways. Keep them. Lucas, I'm going back to my lab. And he's like, Team Turtwig, as he's leaving. Uh, yeah, of course, Professor, wait for me. You should visit us at our lab later, I think. We'll be seeing ya. His name is what now? Turtwig. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Kaylin, we should go home too. Team Turp Twit Bitches is me. Excellent. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Clinteris are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gym Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite... intimidating. Kaylin, I think you need to visit him in Sand Gym Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. 
Oh, I know, Kaylin. Put these on. A pair of running shoes. Yeah, listen. Sometimes you gotta beat up the clinteris. Going to Sanjin Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Okay, off I go. Then firmly grasp it. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. How do you steer this thing? Jesus. All right, let's go. Oh, that was anticlimactic. See what's up. Wild Pokemon learn in tall grass. They come bursting out any time. If your Pokemon's health, its HP, is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Okay. Oh, I already talked to this know-it-all. Exclamation point, backseat to this bitch. <gasps> oh, oh, look at the encounter animation. That was... Everybody bow down. The Lord has appeared. Look, I'll do it. Yes, please. Battle. Does it? Okay, so far be it from me to complain about graphics. Because, look. I wouldn't. But does it seem like this scrap, like the command is kind of low res? Like where you have the attacks? Like in comparison to even just the name Chinchar, like some of it looks kind of low res. Is that just me? Timothy Charcoal in action. Hey, Brave. <laughs> Loud Jet, thank you for the follow. You've noticed it too? Okay, listen. I don't like to complain about stuff. And I'm not really. Like, it doesn't bother me. It just seems a little, like, a little low res for no reason. When God tackles you. It's really annoying. I mean, it doesn't bother me that much. But just an observation. Because it could definitely bother some people. I really like that encounter animation. It's cute. <gasps> Double god. God back to back? Jod, is that you? I'm dying for it. No. The post-processing effect in this one area. Oh, is it just this? Such a quick, a quick encounter rate too. Yeah. So are you titled for the New Testament? I wish. Listen, whenever they were planning out the Book of Mormon, they were trying to name them to like align with the names of Lord of the Rings books. They're like, okay, the fellowship of the God of God, uh, the two, the two God, two God, two furious, um, and re return of the king that you don't even have to change that one. <laughs> Random encounter, shiny hunting and a beehive. Oh, that's true because it's so quick. <sighs> You're making some excellent points here, Rebecca. Whenever there used to be noise-based attacks, I would always try and imagine what they would be like yelling at them because like, Pokemon speak a language. Like Meowth hears words that they say and it's like, oh, he's saying these and saying your mom is a hook. Anyway, but like, I always like to imagine, what are they saying? Whenever it's like certain moves, you know? Hey girl. Hi, I work at a Pokemart. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points, HP for short? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, hit points for long, it faints and can't battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP or hit points 
gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you some- Oh, I was- <laughs> Sorry, you're actually nice. It's been, been rude. It's fine. Listen, Rebecca, you contain multitudes. What if that was just a shiny Badoof? Like, what if it happened? <laughs> Do Pokemon make these nut gotums to taunt? Probably. Where there he's like Pikachu and he's like Pikachu? Yeah, Pikachu on these nuts! <laughs> and then he's like, oh my attack gets lowered. Probably. Oh, good night, Ash. <gasps> hey Cap! You're on lunch. Ooh. What are you having for lunch? That'd be a funniest video. Someone's gotta make it. I would say it would be me. I love this past energy night. Perfect for it's just a very calming stream. That ledge is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twin Leaf Town. Okay. You might as well- you might as well what? <laughs> Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please, come with me. The profess- the prof's waiting to see you. No one says that. What the- oh, it's you, Kaylin! That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Aw, oh, it doesn't matter, Kaylin. I'm out of here! See you later! What's that? Your friend always seems to be, uh, in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. I'm gonna suck on these guys. Finally, you've come. Kaylin, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Chimchar to you as a gift. Okay. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yeah! Monkey, monkey. Wait, I got a girl! Right? Yeah, I got a girl! <gasps> she's a lady! Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, she's a lady. Girl monkey. I'm gonna call her Miss Monkey. This is what it's like to be a god gamer. Hmm. Okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yeah. Timmy, we both are Team Monkey. Your friend Clinter has told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. Gaslight Poops Row Monkey Boss? What? <laughs> and from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. You found a girl Piplup? Oh my god. Blue Round Swirls Girls. Am I ever glad you're kind toward Pokemon? If you weren't, well, I don't even want to think about it. Who says something like that? Lucas, you didn't have to interject. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's move on. <laughs> he, even he was like, don't talk. <laughs> no one cares what you have to say, Lucas. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. I hope you are doing. Delirious, if there's anything I am, it's doing. So don't even worry. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Can we talk about how this is like the version of, will you accept cookies? <laughs> Can we track data along your journey while you're here? Me? Um, yeah, that's fine. Accept cookies. Hmm, good answer. Okay, good night, bad healing. Thanks for hanging out. That Pokedex is a very high tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. 
Kaelin, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. That's kind of a big ask. I've got the same kind of po Oh, I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. Whatever. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Kaelin, your grand adventure begins right now. Seriously, out of my sight. I don't want to see you anymore. Duffy Loner 64 thank you so much for the follow. How are you? Oh, Delirious, I'm glad you stopped by. The professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go fill the, pa the Pokedex pages. <laughs> so I'm going to go out and fill the Pokedex pages, too. There we go. Struggled. That makes us comrades working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? All kinds of stuff. You don't even know the stuff I can teach you. What's up? Hey, I'm Lucas's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we can count on you. I haven't seen the sun in 49 moons. Fine. Professor Rowan invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. Cool. Which star did you get? Monkey! 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 Hey, Kaylin, I want to show you a few things, so follow me. This building with the red roof, it's orange, but go off. And then he's like, this building with the green roof? Like, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, right, Kaylin. You should let your family know you're helping Professor Rowan put together his Pokedex. Imagine if he kept saying the wrong colors. <laughs> yeah, literally made the same joke. Like, anyways, go on. Do the purple grass. Go back home. Thomas, thank you for the follow. How are you? He just calls everything red. He's just like, like a very angry bull. He can only see red. He's like, is it... Anyone really mad right now? This building with the gray roof? This building with the gray roof? Literally. Is this gonna be posted to YouTube? That's my dream, but rarely do I have my act together, so we'll see. We <laughs> I'm gonna try my darndest. Can I please? Welcome home, Kaylin. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. What's up, Kaylin? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. Kaylin, I've got something that you'll find useful. A guidebook? You put the guy, okay, that's, that's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you're curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. G, a journey for 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 <laughs> I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. <laughs> mom, I choose you. <laughs> mom, mom. <laughs> Stupid. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Meteor regret from Kay. Listen, I didn't like it. Mom, use helicopter parenting, Jesus. Oh, Clinteris is mom. Excuse me, is my little Clinteris here? I don't know. Ma'am, you should have figured that out by now. Honey, get a handheld mirror. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong. Hey, little... I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry. Kaylin will deliver that to him. Won't you, Kaylin? Oh, really? You do that for little old me? Kaylin... Oh, yeah, Kaylin. 
Please take this to Clintris for me. A parcel. Okay. Bye bye Kaylin. Enjoy your adventure! Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Clintoris. Can do, Mama Clint. Oh, Kaylin! You're forgetting something important! Look at how cute my pink little boots! Yes, that hat always did suit you well, Kaylin. Now off you go! Okay, goodbye!